Hi everyone, this is the third video in the series of Love Tarot Card Reading. In this video, we are going to find out how and where you are going to be meeting your future partner. There are three piles in front of you, three cards. Pick the one that you feel most drawn to. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the card of Divine Darshan, then this is your reading. The divinity is working for you and your happiness in this long journey of your soul. Just place this here. Okay, so let's have a look at how and where can you meet your partner. You know, when I look at all these cards collectively, I feel that there would be a point in your life, which may not be the point right now, when you would not even want to know that if you're going to meet somebody or not. It's almost like you would have, I would not say given up, but you would not have been attracted to the idea of having someone in your life anymore and I don't think that it's going to come from a space of healthy emotions it might just come from a space of okay being there done that I, I can't do it anymore which also means that you know in that phase I don't think you would be watching a tarot card reading like this you would be not interested in knowing anything about your future partner because you just don't care so that is what I'm getting because what I feel is right before that there is some major upheaval that's going to go or that you're going to go through. There could be like a relationship which is like broken, it went bad or sour. Um, there could be a proposal where you were almost about to get married but then it did not work out. And that might be like the last straw for you. In regards to finding love or thinking about love and after that you know you might have this strong period where or a elongated period where you would not be interested in finding somebody and truly like it's not even coming from a space of hatred or animosity but you would not be interested in being with anybody and I do feel at that time you would get very 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 heavily invested in your work your money you're going to be very heavily focused on how do I build my financial stability. It's almost like as if, you know, you would also partly accept the fact that, you know, there would never be another income in my home because I don't want to be with someone now. So I need to really financially sort myself out. So partly it will also be that, like truly choosing financial independence and then eventually creating your own wealth. So you would be very invested and interested in those concepts, you know. And all those should also be a sign, you know, that you're maybe closer to wanting to be with the one. I also feel that when you would be finding or meeting your partner, somewhere in the near past or the near future, there might be a death in your family. Or death of a closed one in your life. I think mostly, most likely, you're going to be meeting your partner at work. Or if you're pursuing an education, you might meet them there. But it is definitely going to be an phase in your life uh, it's going to be you know when uh, in this phase of your life and you would be very heavily invested in your career and building your wealth and finances like you know you would just become this very goal oriented person who knows how much they want to save each month how much they want to splurge each month and they have everything very well planned and you're most likely going to be on like to the road of success you know that you have your vision laid out and how you want to be achieving it the princess of pentacles here also shows that you would be doing along with like the knight of cups you would be doing something that you truly enjoy like if you've been thinking of a career shift or a career switch you would also be doing something that you would truly 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 enjoy 
and you would be making money in that finance is a big theme like you would be extremely financially settled and that is when i feel like you're likely to meet your partner they could definitely be at your workplace via work they could be your uh, alumni like you know uh, you could, guys could have gone to the same university or college they could be in the same university and college as you and you know what i have like here with the ace of sweets in the stack it also shows me like you know uh, <laughs> you would uh, meet them and you would be most comfortable with your own self like you know the idea or the notion said oh i should not eat this i might not i might put on weight or i do not look good like this i think you would be very authentic when you would meet them like before that only you might become this person who becomes much more confident and accepting of their own self and hence they are just authentic they just are who they are and they're not apologetic about it i do also feel as if you know that's also a period in your life and there would be back to back great news that will be coming to you which will feel like a little bit of celebration to you in your life which is interesting because it does come with the card of grief so i do feel like there might be one hardship or like a challenging period but overall i feel that you know over a course of your life there would be this phase where you would feel that back to back i am receiving like good news i feel aligned i feel like in the know of okay what's happening for me you would feel confident in your life you would feel happy and i'm not denying that there won't be loneliness there would be loneliness you would feel that oh i'm having to take this path alone but it's almost like you would not want to acknowledge it because acknowledging it would mean that you know you would have to do something about it and that is exactly what you don't want to do you don't want to do anything about it you're tired you will be tired that's what i'm getting I also think that you could also meet your future partner or the first date with your future partner could be in a place where you would um, like you would discuss about restaurants and food quite a lot like what are the great places to eat or you know this particular dish in that restaurant is amazing feeding each other feeding yourself i think it's it's going to be like your love language There's another message here some of you may decide to actively get involved in volunteering to to do something good for the society for the humanity you might increase your donations you you might do something you know where you feel a little bit more connected with humanity and the human race in totality you could do it for animals and when that starts happening like you could start visiting a dog ngo dog shelter animal shelter or you could start visiting a children's shelter old age shelter like when when you would just start doing something more for the humanity is also a sign that okay you are on the path like you're going to meet them probably soon and i also feel these are things you might even have to do you know to meet them because uh, you know like we all have our own little lists or things that we want in a partner a partner would also have that for us right so you never know this might be like your <laughs> partner's list for you So yeah. Another key message that I'm getting here is that I do feel as if either you or your partner are going to be very 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 fond of animals. You're going to be very invested in the welfare of animals and taking care of animals. And I do feel as if you and your partner would have very similar values in terms of how you look at success and how you look at money. of course there could be like a difference of 19 20 little bit of nitty gritties here and there but you would have very similar values in terms of hard work how you both look at success how you both look at wealth money let me see if i'm getting anything else we also have the ring card here which says a marriage will take place either romantic or business see again business i do feel you're going to be meeting them at work and of course if you're in a business it means your business woo woo nice 
for some i also feel as if you know your partner would also come like with a little bit of baggage and their own grief of like having gone through a bad relationship and when you both come together it would be very interesting to both of you because you would feel that you know initially there's a lot of trauma that has been unnerved from both the ends and then suddenly the trauma would just go away because you would realize that oh you're meant to be with each other and i don't mean it in that shitload twin flame or any new sense sort of way i just mean that yes it will take you a little bit of while to a little bit of while to understand each other understand each other's triggers a little bit of trauma and then work through that relationship and while working through that relationship you both would have been transformed would have started on a different journey of being from you and i to us I do feel as if this pile is going to get a big romantic proposal and I I also think that you know your partner is someone like who themselves might be very interested in food they might also be a good cook even if not like a great chef but they'd know how like how to cook the basics and that is something that you'll really like and enjoy they'd lo- also love feeding you I don't know why I feel like saying this it's almost like you know when your partner will enter your life or whenever you'd meet them I did say that you know you might go through like a difficult phase but I also feel as if your partner is going to save you from some sort of trickery or something wrong that's going to happen in your life and I know I know it sounds very like oh um a damsel in distress and somebody come and saving you but what i do mean is that you know that might be a way in which how you might connect with them that you would just realize and see their honesty and see that you know how they have very strong values and they like to stand up to their values and they like to show their values they're not someone who believes you know it's not my business i should not interrupt they are someone like you know they might go out of their way to help someone but your yeah, workplace is something that's very strong in this pile or when you're going to be completely financially settled in sense that you would be very happy you would have an understanding of your own budget of how much you're earning and how much is flowing out and you might meet them i don't know i don't want to say it but okay because you have the cards here like in some restaurant or like you might go for an event you know which is about like uh, learning to bake learning to cook some sweet treats that is possible you also might meet them at some uh shelter or ngo especially something related to animals is what i see here and even small children so yes that was it pile number 1 for you i know there's no part of it that you might be able to tell if it's resonating or not because it's all in the future but if you can please try and claim the reading in the comments below Your comments help me grow my YouTube channel, keeps me motivated to make more videos. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't pay very well. I haven't even got my channel monetized, so yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Hi, pile number two. If you chose this card, which is the card of transformation, it says bringing about the change that comes with destruction and sow the seeds now for the future. Then this is your reading, and I must say all the cards here look very dramatic, and I love dramatic cards. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I do feel some people in this pile may have lost their partner in and around COVID. or may have just lost their partner and are looking for a partnership again now in their life and some of you may have lost somebody very important like your parents or some very important loved one and some of you could have been um um separated or you are almost about to get separated or in your mind the question is always can i get separated i don't want to be with them anymore and all these things if they are relevant to you then 110% this is your reading and for people who have been single for a very long time which i also feel is a possibility in this pile that some people in this pile have been just single like they might also feel now that oh my god i've literally forgotten what it feels like to not be single anymore this is also your pile 
and if none of this resonates it's all right continue listening there might be few messages in this for you if you've not been in a relationship or are simply in an uncomplicated way are looking out for love so like i said the cards are dramatic i do want to tell you there is a promise of partnership and marriage in your life if that has been a question to you because i feel as if some of you people may have a ketu in your 7th house or ketu could be aspecting your 7th house or you could have rahu in your 7th house or you may have heard from somebody that not sure if marriage is written for her or you may have ketu or rahu in your lagna which is the first house or you think that something like a conventional marriage maybe is not for me however the cards at least in this reading seem to be telling a different story which is that there is promise of marriage or promise of at least partnership in your life for sure okay so now when where how we're going to be answering all those questions so honestly with this card which is a card of luck i find it very amusing it's like you know the cards are also like you know it will happen when it has to happen <laughs> so yeah it will happen when it has to happen but what i see here with seven of wands is that maybe it will happen at a time when you would feel at prime in your life like you would feel oh my god i have really lived it all i have really conquered it all and i am so comfortable being with myself also now and i just know myself so much better now you know like there would be this uh, immense surge of love for your own journey and your self discovery you would be like in love with yourself you would be in love with each and every part of yourself in a very happy and healthy manner i don't mean just you know the internet concept of self love but i actually mean that you would be quite surprised in how things just have worked out for you and how you have managed to turn around your life so that is something very strong here you could also be people you know who are trying to like do something different from your family uh you might have always felt that you are somebody who is quite different from your own family and you would there would be a time when you would feel like quite at your full power your full potential you know and i also feel like this is in regards to have a little bit of cold so just ignore the little noises that i make please so i also feel this is in regards to your career in regards to how you want to steer your life so suppose if you feel right now i want to be traveling so much plus i want to have like a slow career or a career like this but i'm not able to have it all you would be able to have it all and that is like going to be a great sign of like you are on the right path i also feel that you're going to be meeting your partner you know after a very strong period of upheaval in your life uh where you would change and you know this is like a good upheaval you would change a lot of things about you like you know with this card here moon changes in your life what i also feel is like you would be happily inviting changes in your life you would want new changes and this specially might be a period you know that you go through after you have had some financial pinch in your life so this is also the time you know where you might be questioning oh like if i want to do my business if i had funding it would have been easier or my job is not paying me well or how do i go about like realizing and actualizing my dreams so there's going to be like a bit of a financial pinch that you would feel and that is when you would decide to change a lot of things in your life and that change is going to bring this upheaval because you would realize that you would have to really bring out the lion within you the tiger within you the strength within you outside to find and to do what you want to do and because i said that you know you could be people who are slightly different from your family it also means that you know you are someone who really wants to upgrade and elevate the status and the level of their own family in this society as well or maybe your uh, family has like certain aspirations and wishes for you which you know that you are really trying to fulfill and when that happens that is when you know that okay yeah this is the period and the phase for you now what i also see is that uh, if i talk about where you could be meeting your partner uh uh 
Honestly, there's no proper response to where, but I am getting one very strong energy that is that you will be traveling to a very different continent when you would be meeting them. And when you travel to that continent and that culture, you might just find that oh that culture that it just soaked me. Like there was something about the city about the place that really just soaked me up. and i felt like it was so made for me so you might travel to some place and that is when you're likely to meet them and while traveling you might also spend like great time with them it's also interesting you know like how in the background we had the song papa kehte hain bada naam karega and i was just talking about that you know how there is also like elevation and upgradation in the family that might be brought on upon by you so that maybe becomes like a confirmation of the message but coming back to your uh, traveling I do feel they're going to be from somewhere else in the world. <laughs> they could be traveling to your city. You could be traveling to their city. Uh, or maybe it could be just different culturally. Like it doesn't have to be like different continent-wise in terms of not being Indian or not being American from wherever you are. Uh, but they could be very different in terms of their culture and the ethnicity they have grown up in. And I also feel that as if you are someone who already maybe enjoys. talking and reading up about that culture and their food i also feel there's more exposure or there's something that you need to do in terms of you know letting yourself lose a little bit moving out a little bit exploring the world a little bit trying on different things with the king of drinks here you know what i also feel is as if you both will really enjoy having your uh, tea and coffee but at the same time maybe their culture has some um anecdote about a particular beverage that is very core to their culture like you know how tea it is to india and coffee it is to the western world in certain cultures you know they may have like this particular beverage that is like extremely uh important to them culturally so that could be also one of the messages I do feel like when you both would start being with each other initially you might just feel as if the communication between us just flows so well with so many cultural differentiations and like how we like to look at things could also be different how we have grown up is different but how come you're able to talk to each other so easily it's like we're not having to put any effort how is this happening you know why is this happening because you have also allowed to change yourself So I do feel like a change is coming but you know one very important message that is in this pile is that you know you also need to bring that change you need to like get out there in the world more travel more try different cultures different cuisines open up yourself more to possibilities of what the world has to offer you can't be contained like here i see you know you have done the inner work enough like to stay contained but now it's the time that you know if you really want to be like with the one you would have to go out and you would have to really like transform yourself and get more social i do feel your partner is going to be from some different culture and you might meet them while traveling or you might even if you meet them in your city they could be traveling to yours or you might meet them while having the appreciation for similar kind of cultures and food you might meet them as you know like some of these events and conventions that happen now about culture people are discussing like literature you might meet them at some place you know which will have to do more with exposure talking about different philosophies of life you might meet them at some movie club so i'm getting like a very uh, mixed energy but the core or the baseline is that you would meet them at a place where you would just feel my mind is being expanded and it's being opened up you know by different perspectives which can come by our culture by the narratives that people share or via how a person views artwork talks about movie poem so i am seeing something with the appreciation for different cultures different philosophies different mindsets it's going to be very strong and that is where you are going to be meeting them but this would only happen once you've truly opened up yourself more to going out there and believing in your luck that yes it can happen again for you i also kind of feel that you need to stop chasing it a little bit it's almost like that you know you just need to let it take its own time 
and you need to do what you have to do currently which is just travel <laughs> travel find different uh, cultures to explore find what you want to be exposed to there's a need to increase your exposure to world to how different people think about different topics even if it is about tarot for that matter how do different people think about it so i i feel like that's going to be very important i do feel as if you and your future uh, partner is going to have very similar journeys something similar in regards to the kind of family you've grown up in and something in regards to having to do or take up a lot of responsibilities in a particular fashion just to be able to fulfill certain family desires so i do feel like that's that's going to be common okay yeah so that was it pile number 2 let me know how this reading i'm not i'm sure like you can't tell if it resonated or not but if any part of it you want to happen then please claim it in the comments below because i'm trying to monetize my channel youtube doesn't pay till it's not monetized and when you comment it helps me reach more people helps me get that monetization banner and then it motivates me to actually make videos for my youtube All right thanks bye Hi pile number 3 if you chose this card which says true faith true devotion and faith a humble offering to god is greater than any material wealth then this is your reading Okay first thing that I'm getting you know some people in this pile may actually meet their future partner via arranged marriage what i'm getting is that you know you are someone who will have to go through meeting multiple people and then seeing that which person fits well both with your values with what you seek in a partner and i think it's going to be a slightly frustrating period i do feel as if you're going to be continue continuing to do this for at least a year or so yeah a year or so or like after 10 months there's likely to be something that could happen could also continue for a year year and a half and i do feel like some people already might be like in the process of arranged marriage so yeah that's one message that i have okay a couple of other quick things some of you may have rahu in your 8th house or saturn in your 8th house Some of you may have Rahu sitting in Aquarius or in eleventh house in your chart, natal chart. Some of you may have your seventh house also aspected by Saturn, which means a slightly delayed marriage. I also feel as if some people in this pile, you know, are like very scared with the idea of marriage. They might have like grown up in a slightly dysfunctional home or in a home that uh, was broken. Your parents could have been separated, or you may have gone through something similar. And like you know, your idea of love and marriage and relationships has become like very um, different now. It's it's not the rosy picture as the world paints it to be. Instead, what you feel is that you know, like it needs to be very practical, and you're very happy actually being alone. You know, with your own self till the time you don't find the right partner. So you you might be like that. You know, if I do not have the right partner, it's better that I just do this journey called life alone, not with someone who might just add on to my problems or become a problem. I want to be problem free. So that's another thing that I'm getting. I also feel as if some people in this file really crave fame quite a lot. A fame in your career, recognition at work. Your career is very important to you, of course. If you have those inner child issues and a little bit of trauma from your family, then your energies do get invested into your career. Okay, so when and where are you likely to meet them? um i do feel you would meet them when you would be a when you would be at a completely new point in your life or when you would be at a turning point in your life or especially in your career 
you would have like taken some massive decision in your career which you would feel like oh i want to keep this decision long term it could be a tr- career transition it could be quitting your job and starting a business so when you take that turning point that just means that you're many steps closer to now maybe meeting your partner and not just career i also feel that you know this turning point is also going to be in regards to you also deciding that hey i don't necessarily have to do it all alone this turning point would be at a point you know where uh, you uh, this turning point would also could also be you know when you would feel the need of companionship when you would understand the beauty of two people coming together and sharing their resources sharing their love and what it means to do it together and i i think that's going to be like a strong turning point in your life and from there on is also when you would get started on the journey of meeting your partner for many i feel as a somebody new is entering your life very soon for some reason and both of you could be very fond of like healthy eating and drinking habits like you could be one of those people who like to like read labels and ingredients of food to know what you, what is being put in your body or at least like this is something that you would be doing very closer to the time you're about to meet them you would also keep a limit on your drinks you would just like to be really mindful of what you're putting in your body i also think as if uh, you would leave a lot of bad influences in your life which could also mean bad habits if you're habitual of smoking if you drink a little bit too much or if you're just into a lot of unhealthy binging desserts you might actually let quite a lot of that go before you meet your partner or is just something that you know you would constantly think about before you meet them now honestly in where the biggest message that i'm getting is arranged marriage the other message that i'm getting here is you could actually meet them by your friends and they might also be friends that you know you may not want to like continue your friendship with or whatever but like you know one of those invites that you didn't really feel like attending but you ended up attending it anyway and boom that's where you ended up meeting your partner i also feel as if this is a very testing period for you you know like you already know that there's a lot of changes that you need to bring in your life but it's like things are just not working out so you're just having to like persevere which might be a little annoying to you you might also meet your partner if you're traveling to some place to meet your friends or family a place like dubai egypt turkey rajasthan maybe a place like where you get to see camels i don't know why i feel like saying this as if the camel alone without the meaning of the card has something important for you so camel maybe becomes a symbolism like when you meet them you are also someone you know who likes to like be around people who carry like a certain level of respect and influence and this doesn't have to be financial influence but this can just be like they command a certain respect they have a certain aura you know like when they meet someone and that is what really attracts you so you're always on the lookout also for somebody like that however i feel maybe in the past certain things like that have not really worked out for you and now when you meet them before that you would become this person you know who would have a more organized routine and structure to their life and you would start valuing the slowness in relationships the pause the speed would not matter to you like you would not want anything rushed you would want it to be slow stable it should feel calm and if all that starts happening then that's your sign that you're on the right part or uh, on the right path in terms of where i have arranged marriages i have you could be meeting them by your friend circle a friend actually could set you both up i'm also getting that strongly now there could be a friend who is setting you both up i also feel like you would kind of meet them when you would be very happy pursuing your little hobbies and you would be actually very happy in your life you know you would be pursuing your hobbies you would be like chasing it in your career 
and even if like it would come with all challenges but you would just generally feel very happy in your life you would feel that you're just at peace social media meeting them by social media by dating apps is also one of the very important things and i don't know why the moment i said this i felt as if somebody just said it in their head that oh god i can't do dating apps or dating apps suck but no i'm also getting dating apps and social media you might want to join a place you know where they talk a little bit about um fitness where they do maybe these uh, alcohol appreciation events where they where you understand a little bit about whiskey wine etc or you know like you get to visit like a vineyard or you get to visit like an orchard so basically hiking healthy food something to do with produce i think all this is going to be relevant in regards to how you meet your partner very strong nature energy in the pile you know so the more you're outdoors exploring in the nature more it's like you're inviting that energy also in your life but here yeah, social media <laughs> dating apps meeting my friends a friend one specific friend can actually set you both up meeting why arrange marriage or meeting them at a place where there's going to be a lot of chatter about good quality food wine drinks healthy habits healthy eating cycling or you could be meeting at a place you know where camel is going to hold some sort of an importance it could be as small as just a picture of camel in the background and yeah you would be doing much more well in your career there would be a turning point in your career and even in your life in regards to how you view relationships the idea of mature relationship and romance is going to settle in your life and you would meet them so yeah that was it pile number 3 let me know how this resonated Oh, um, you can't tell that, of course, because it's set in the future. But what you can do is you can claim this reading in the comments below, if you want any part of it to come true. So please put down in the comments. And you know when you put it, uh, when you put a comment down, it actually helps my videos reach more people, and that way I can start monetizing my channel a little bit sooner. Because if I do that, I'm more motivated to make videos for you all. So you see how this works. So <laughs> if you'd leave a comment, I'd really appreciate it. All right, thanks. Bye.